Why do we have so much stress? When you look in the mirror, you know that reflection is you. This is because you have self-awareness. A dog or a cat doesn't have this self-awareness. From about the age of one and a half, you look in the mirror and think, hey, this is me. And from that point on, it's not just a ball, it's my ball. This idea of me is useful, though. I mean, when you order a drink, you can say, can I have some water? Or you don't say, can this buddy have some water? So this idea of me is useful, but it's also the cause of all of your stress, anxiety, and overwhelm. Because the next thought is, am I good enough? Am I pretty enough? Am I talented enough? What will others think of me? And from the pain of these insecurities, we develop defense mechanisms. Some people become dominant. They try to prove to people they're good enough by seeking out conflict and being demanding of others. Other people start to please. They try to be good enough by suppressing their own true feelings and ideas in order to receive personal validation. And then we have the control everything cloud. You know, as John Lennon used to say, life is what happens to you while you're busy making other plans. As you may have experienced in your life, things almost always go different from what you would have thought. From here, frustration tends to arise. Things should have been different. I should have won this game. When we think about the future, the fear clouds pop up with all kinds of scary scenarios. What if it goes wrong? What if I fail? And when we think about the past, the guilt clouds often appear. This makes us feel stressed and creates overwhelming anxiety, and we start to mentally suffer. So we start to buy stuff. And when this doesn't work, we may turn to activities such as drinking or smoking or eating excessively or doing drugs. Or we think a new job or a new romantic relationship or achieving a goal will solve everything. And when this doesn't take away the clouds, we most likely are gonna look for a therapist or try to hire a life coach. Eventually, no matter what we try, the clouds keep coming back and so we scream. Help, I need somebody. So what's been overlooked here? All these clouds are only happening in one place, your mind. And how many of these thoughts are true? None of them. Even the I is merely a thought and a feeling. Once you have a true understanding of the clouds, all these worrying thoughts can dissolve. And we all have these experiences. When you're in flow, your self-awareness is turned off. When you're totally immersed in sports or reading a book and you're listening to music, then you feel completely liberated. Imagine leading a team where everyone is filled with these clouds. And then the leader comes and says, hey, we need to change. You know, what are the chances that you're gonna succeed? When the clouds dissolve, authenticity, trust, and creativity naturally arise. So much energy is lost in the clouds. Imagine what life would be like if we could just have them dissolve.